Welcome to the Joy of Music. My name is Diane Bish, and I would like to invite you to join us today as we pay a musical visit to Oslo, Norway. Known as the Viking capital, Oslo is the capital of Norway. Encircled by wooded hills and snow-capped mountains, seaport and gardens, culture and music, this is Oslo. Thank you for joining us today on our musical visit to Oslo. in Oslo by way of the Bergen Railway, traveling across the roof of Norway. Our fascinating journey took us along forests, secluded lakes, fjords and mountains, fertile valleys and well-kept farmsteads. At times, it seemed that the rails would surely end in a wall of solid rock, but then the train suddenly plunged into yet another tunnel that opened up to reveal a completely new vista. Upon our arrival in Oslo, we went straight to the Oslo Domkirke, famous as the Church of the Royal Family. The great hymn of faith, Rejoice, the Lord is King, seemed most appropriate on this majestic organ of the Oslo Cathedral.
Harald the Hard Ruler, the founder of Oslo, one of the last Viking kings, was the half-brother of St. Olaf, who died in 1030 at the famous Battle of Stiklestad, where Christianity took up the fight against the pagan Vikings. After 13 years in exile, Harald founded Oslo in 1048 and commenced the building of churches in Oslo. This marked the beginning of the Catholic Middle Ages in Oslo, which lasted until the Reformation in 1537, when Lutheran Protestantism became the sole faith that could be practiced. Today, the official religion in Norway is Protestant Christianity, and about 85% of the population belong to the Evangelical Lutheran State Church. Edvard Grieg was Norway's most famous composer. Although Grieg was born in Bergen, he spent much of his time in Oslo. Known for his nationalistic music, Grieg made use of Norwegian folk tunes and melodies. From triumphant marches to Norwegian dances, the music is pleasing in melody, rhythm, and harmony, reflecting both the beauty and majesty of Norway. Thank you. 
the Oslo Cathedral is one of the largest organs in Norway. Built in 1931 by the Valker Organ Company of Germany, the organ consists of five manuals, 80 stops, and more than 8,000 pipes. The beautiful Baroque casework dates back to 1797. Akerhus Fortress in Oslo dates back from 1299 and was considered the strongest fort in Northern Europe for several hundred years. Rebuilt in the 1600s, it is now a beautiful castle which is used for cultural events, concerts, and theater performances. stands the famous Stave Church, which dates back to the 1200s. In Norway, there were approximately 800 of these beautiful wooden churches, with only 28 left in existence today. All of the Stave Churches date from the very beginning of Christianity in Norway.
tell us why these wooden churches are called stave churches? Well, um, the stave church is a kind of a uh, typical kind of church because of the construction. They call it a stave church because uh, there are big pillars inside, who, and the pillar is pillar is um, stave in Norwegian. Mm -hmm. So these pillars carries the construction. Everything rests on the pillars, so it becomes a stave church. Now these churches were built around the year 1200 or so, and I noticed. Uh, along with crosses, there are still dragon heads like the Viking used. Yes. Why is that? Uh, well, they were still um, maybe a bit pagan. <laughs> they had one foot in the pagan time and one in Christian time because uh, Norway had been a Christian country only for 150 years when this church was built. So I think that's the reason. I presume that your costumes are the traditional costumes of Norway. Do they go back hundreds of years, or how far? Yes, most of them go back to the 19th century, the beginning of the 19th century. Mm -hmm. And I noticed that uh, they're different in nature. Is that because of the region? Yes, we have different uh, costumes for different regions, and we have uh, many, many different variations of them. I think you said maybe over 100 regions, so there would be over 100 different designs. Yes. a typical 18th century wooden Norwegian farmhouse. One of the interesting features of the house is the grass roof, which serves as insulation all year long. Christianity was a very important part of the family during the 18th century. And inside the house, we see scriptures above the doorways. In one instance, Above the bed is this scripture, as for me and my house, we shall serve the Lord. And above the doorway is the inscription, may the Lord bless your comings and goings from this day forward.
quote from Psalm 150 so perfectly describes our musical journey today. Oh, praise ye the Lord. Praise him in his firmament. Praise him with stringed instruments and organs. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Thank you for joining us today on the program, and we look forward to seeing you again next week on The Joy of Music. If you would like to purchase this program or any of the more than 400 videos and audio CDs recorded in famous cathedrals worldwide, you may order on the internet at dianebishtv.com or call The Joy of Music at 1-800-933-4844.